Hi everybody, hope you're well, thanks for clicking on the channel. So uh, this is the final instalment of uh, three videos in relation to the uh, vinyl sunroom, glass house, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just click on the cards up here to take you to a time lapse and then to a more in-depth look at the uh, vinyl sunroom. Uh, basically we had this fitted September 2020, we're now March 2021. So it's been installed um, over the uh, winter months uh, here in the UK. Uh, we've had gale force winds, torrential rain, and we've got to say it's been a very, very good product. Our patio is a uh, Indian sandstone, so it's porous. So when it rains, water bleeds under the rails and seeps in and bleeds in through the uh, cement uh, joints. I did explain that in the previous video. So we got a company in, uh, a Mastic Man company, and they came along and they've done the outside uh, vertical uh, pillars where the infill panels uh, join against the granite gable end, as you can see here. So they've done a great job there. And then when it came to the, the base on the patio, I didn't actually do the outside, I did the inside, as you can see here see here all the way around uh, and the reasoning for that was um, I wanted to be able to ensure that no uh, water or reduce the likelihood of water coming in but uh, the torrential rain we've had there's a, still a little bit of bleeding occurs now the stuff that the mastic company used uh, we went for a, a black color uh, only because I think it uh, blends in very well with the Indian sandstone and also the uh, black uh, rubber uh, seals, gaskets on the glazing panels themselves. Uh, it matches that as well. So uh, that's why we went for the black. I did mention in one of the other videos uh, that our um, the fall on our patio is about four centimeters um, fall away from the granite gable end. So when they leveled the uh, base uh, to the uh, sunroom, uh, we had a, a four centimeter gap on this end furthest away from the patio doors, granite gable end. So to, uh, for that reason, um, they had to put the uh, infill panels, otherwise we'd have a four centimeter gap and it would uh, let all the wind come in and uh, even more rain. So they've put in the, the uh, color match strips. And the problem we had there was, because um, it was quite a large gap uh, for those infill panels to, to cover, uh, once they'd mastic those against the uh, metal frame, the base frame or base rail, it meant that there was a bit of flex and you know with our dogs running in and out and stuff, um, there's quite a bit of flex and you could sort of push the thin uh, metal uh, infill panels um, inwards towards the bottom rails. Um, and the mastic man, when he came up to have a look, give us a quote, he said, look, you're gonna be better off uh, putting some kind of support blocks behind them. So that's what I did, I just peeled away those infill panels um, and then used uh, some uh, uh, sticks like, uh, I'll put the links up here, the stuff I used or a picture of it, uh, sticks like something. And uh, I used that to refit the infill panels. But what I did, I went to a local hardware store and purchased some uh, plastic um, skirting or similar to that. Here's a picture of what it was. And then I just cut it to appropriate lengths and then stuck that directly onto the uh, patio um, using the stuff previously mentioned. And um, then that was obviously under the, uh, the rails. And then uh, when I fit the infill panels back, um, the infill panel uh, had something to push up against. So when the mastic man came to mastic, uh, he had a nice solid uh, section to mastic against rather than having a lot of flex as he mastic away. So, so that's been done. So uh, on the outside infill panels, um, I think I'm gonna leave them as they are and just live with it for another year. Um, and that way, uh, anything that's wet, it still gets to air as well. Um, so we have still got some air under the, the, uh, the base panels to, to dry uh, the, the uh, patio. And also I can, every now and again, I'll spray it with a product called Wet and Forget. Uh, it's, a, it's a product that uh, if the patio goes uh, uh, green, um, you can spray that on and then it kills that uh, form of algae or whatever it is. But there's other products on the market similar to that. So that ensures that I can spray uh, from the outside under the uh, current small gaps, uh, as you can see the gaps here. Uh, so I think that's basically where we are with that. And finally, the other thing I've done, as you can see here on the uh, down pipes, um, when there was uh, rain, then obviously the water goes down the downpipe um, and it drops onto the foot of the pillars. 
And again, that's uh, because it's on the foot of the pillars, that itself caused um, a little bit of water to come in as it sort of gets soaked up. So I uh, took the uh, foot cap off, uh, it's only a, a, a decorative panel, and then I uh, mastic around that as well to stop water coming under that foot panel, uh, as you can see here. And then I've also gone to a local DIY store and bought some white uh, downpipes, cut them to length, and that just ensures that the water just gets uh, pushed away. So, I mean, it doesn't look pretty. I may, um, in the future, decide to paint them. I don't even get black ones or brown ones, but maybe that's something that vinyl uh, should maybe have a look at uh, if you want to uh, get the water just moving away from those corner pillars. Maybe they should just give you a one meter of uh, extra downpipe. And the other thing is, um, when you get a little bit of condensation, uh, you're going to see those white uh, big sucker marks that the chaps use to lift the glass panels uh, in and out of the frames when they're setting them correctly. Um, so yeah, you're going to get that and there's no magic product on the market to get rid of that. Um, as and when you see them, just uh, get the glass cleaner out and give it a bit of a clean. But I've got my two uh, German Shepherds, they absolutely love it. And another thing is, up here, um, you get lots of uh, bird mess. And obviously I can put the awning uh, out to hide that. But I've just purchased from Amazon, again, sorry about the wobbly camera, just purchased from Amazon uh, one of these uh, extendable, uh, what do they call it, washing poles with a brush on the end of it. Um, I did get a quote from my window cleaner to, to clean the outside, and it's about 25 pounds. He said it's gonna take an hour. So I said, you know what, I'll do it myself. And now when I get a lot of bird poo, on the ceiling there, I just go up a step ladder and then use that three meter extension pole uh, with a, a brush on the end of it and uh, put in some water and then clean the bird bird poo off of that. So yeah, you're gonna get that. Uh, hey, it's no big deal. But uh, bottom line is we've had it now uh, since September, we're now March. So we've been through some terrible weather. Uh, winds directly go for seven, eight, uh, blowing into the, uh, into the glass panels. And it's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, we did the right thing with leaving the uh, draft proof uh, brushes on the uh, glazing panels. Happy with that, it doesn't look brilliant, but it's not bad actually. So yeah, uh, overall, really, really happy with the product. I would certainly recommend it. And I just uh, wish that maybe vinyl would consider just giving you some extension uh, down piping just to get that water away from the bottom of the pillars on the corners. Um, but we've just put some flower pots there uh, that way you don't walk in into them uh, and kick them and uh, uh, displace them, shall we say. Other than that, guys, I hope, hope you like the video. I've tried to put as much information in there as possible. Um, we still get a little bit of uh, creep uh, from the water come in, but it's not a conservatory. It is a sunroom glass house to keep the wind and the rain off you when you, can, uh, when you can't use the outside space. And it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Um, it any of these products would be fabulous, whether it be vinyl or, or another company. But I absolutely love it and roll on the summer when we can open everything up and enjoy the uh, outside whilst we're sort of inside, if that makes sense. Um, but other than that, absolutely love it. Oh, and a final thing, I didn't know if I mentioned it on the other videos, um, can get lots of flies uh, inside when, the, when you get the warmer weather, um, a quick psh, psh, psh of fly spray, um, and then within half an hour, job done, so not a problem. So there are all those little kind of things that I haven't heard about on the internet. Um, I know we're up to 11 minutes now on the video, but uh, they're not cheap, these vinyl glass houses. Um, this one was over 30,000 pounds, so it's a lot of money, but I absolutely love it. Uh, I wouldn't change anything. I like the size, I like the look, I like the color, and I like the fact that we can see the gable end of the house, and at night time it looks absolutely fabulous. Um, so my wife's gone for grey and purple in here. I think it looks good. Um, other than that, guys, that is the end of the video. Take care, and if you like it, please feel free to click that subscribe button and leave any comments, either yes or no, that'd be brilliant. Take care and enjoy. Bye-bye.